Oi, 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 oi. But, oh. What's going on people? I hope everyone's good. I hope you've been enjoying some of the content I've been putting out recently. I've been making a real effort with the sets, the podcasts, the live streams. If you've got any feedback, good or bad, drop it in the comments below, drop me a message. I'd really like to know what you're thinking. So before we kick off and discuss today's topic, I wanna to take a quick moment to just look at one reply from the previous episode because we're a little bit stuck for time. I'm just about to get kicked out of here, so without further ado. So this comment comes from Philly B. Big up Philly, massive supporter of the show. I really appreciate everything that you're doing. He said, I think that the lines are blurred when it comes to how personal you can be in a clash, especially with people who watch battle rap in conjunction with grime clashes. Personally, I think going overly personal in a clash is like a low hanging fruit, but people are more likely to go down that route because that's what the fans want to hear, TBH. Yeah, to be honest, I agree with everything that you said. I think the lines are definitely blurred in the sense that what is too far for me might not be too far for you and vice versa. I, I spoke about this a lot in the last episode, but I completely agree with that. And yeah, definitely going overly personal is a low hanging fruit, an easy target, whatever. Yeah, in my mind, clashing should be about who is the better MC, not just who has got more dirt on the other one. That does come into it, but come on, there's boundaries. Okay, so now I'm going to get into today's topic, which is podcasts in grime so as i hope you're all aware i have a podcast the citrus show i have open free-flowing conversations with mcs producers djs anyone in or around the grime scene i had the idea for a few years but i wanted to get to a point where i'd already built a network around me so that i knew that i had plenty of people that I could have these conversations with. And so far, I'm really happy with the results. I'm really happy with the quality of the content that I've been putting out and I've been getting some great feedback. So first of all, just a big thank you to everyone that is here from the start, because I do hope to be in this for the long run and fingers crossed in years to come, we'll be looking back at this thinking, mad, that's where it all started. Now, I was chatting with Louis B the other day and we had a discussion on gaps in the market and how fruitful they can be because let's face it, sometimes there are gaps in the market for a good reason. And that reason is generally because there is no audience for it. However, when it comes to the grime scene, I do genuinely believe that there is a space for a podcast to exist. I think in this day and age, there are a lot of really good, entertaining, successful podcasts. And in my mind, there isn't really one which is just solely dedicated to grime and everyone in that community. A few years back, Logan Sama was running the Keeping It Grimy podcast, which I was a big fan of. I checked out every single episode and they was all very entertaining because he was just having conversations with people that he already knew in his own words, just the sort of conversations that would happen when there wasn't a camera in the room. So it was very authentic, it was very genuine. I did take a lot of inspiration from it and I thought about what I enjoyed about that podcast and what features I could implement into this. I think so far on the whole, I've been getting a great reception to the work that I've been doing. It honestly far exceeded what I thought I'd get. I was kind of worried that after four episodes I was gonna jack it in because no one was gonna care. But genuinely, some of the responses and comments and messages that I've been getting as a direct result of the Citrus show far outweighs anything that I ever got when I was solely focusing on the DJing. So I do plan to stick with this and see where it goes. And I'm really excited for the future. However, one very good comment that Louis did make to me when we was having this conversation was, is there actually a big enough audience for a grime podcast? Ultimately, I'm very aware that a lot of the comments, views, messages that I'm getting are from other people in the grime scene. I don't know how many people who are just casual fans of grime are actually going to lock into this and get something out of it. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure there are a lot of people out there and I just encourage anyone that isn't an artist themselves but enjoys the podcast, drop me a comment because I'd like to know that you exist. So I guess the question that I'm trying to ask for the purpose of the podcast and also my own sanity, is there room for a podcast in the grime scene? I personally believe there is, otherwise I wouldn't be sat here at nine o'clock on a Sunday night. You might agree, you might disagree, but what I'm gonna need you to do is drop me a comment. If you don't wanna do that, drop me a message. Just let me know how you're feeling because I'm genuinely curious to 
get a variety of answers. I'm here for the positives, for the negatives, for anything in between. Don't be a silent viewer, get involved. Let me know how you feel. That's gonna be it for today's episode. I am trying to keep the Dear Diary segments of the Citrus Show quite short and sweet so that we have a little bit of a chat. You can let me know your feelings and then you can go and watch a podcast or a set. As always, any thoughts, feelings, feedback on anything that I do in the Citrus Show, feel free, drop me a comment, drop me a message. I'm keen to hear your thoughts and I'll catch up with you next time.